Okay, so what we've been doing is putting a fillet of bondo in the corner here. Uh, that's not only to fill the cracks, but just to ease the flow of water that gets on the deck and remove any spots that dirt and grime and stuff can hide. Uh, we put on our top rail on both sides glue and uh, some brads to hold it and we've painted the interior with the first coat of a two-part epoxy paint. Uh, we've got to go back and touch up some corners in that with the sealant and we'll have to come back with another layer of paint later but this will give it a good waterproof base. Okay so we laid out uh, the bottom edge of our seat back according to the lofting and the plans. However, because each boat comes out just a little bit different, it doesn't quite match up. There's a little bit of a gap in the middle. So we're just going to make up for that by scribing along seat bottom to get an accurate curve. In the last segment, we scribed and cut the seat backs to fit in there. What we've done since is just painted behind the seats that we, where we won't be able to reach well and the seat backs themselves with a coat of epoxy resin thinned with a little acetone. We're going to let that set up and we're going to come back and sand the edges where we need to glue. We'll sand, I will sand our two strips that we're going to screw the back into. We'll lay some thickened epoxy, thickened with wood flour or fine sawdust, and then we'll screw it in. You, th you put the wood flour in just to thicken the epoxy a little bit, so it'll take up any voids. Next, we've cut a couple pieces to fit up here. Uh, this is going to be what they call a combing. Any water that splashes up over the bow will come down, hit that, and be car Oop, pardon me. carried down around the sides and not come into the, contact, the cockpit. So we've got those pieces cut. We're going to apply those with some thickened epoxy also. Okay, the combing is firmly attached. The epoxy is pretty hard. We're going to give it a little bit uh, more time to set up. And we're going to start attaching the seat backs in along here. First we gotta mix up some thickened epoxy. Okay. Okay, looking at the seat now that I've got that one in, I don't think on the next one we're gonna thicken the epoxy. I think we're just gonna use it straight. Uh, there didn't seem to be a real tight gap and I'll show you the, the detail. A real big gap on that. Right in here, there's a little bit of a gap, but I don't know if it's showing on the camera. That's mostly just between the plywood deck and the back, not the stringer. So I think we're going to be okay just using the regular epoxy as our glue. Okay, the next thing we need to do while we wait for that to dry is run a, another rail like this right down here. It's called a rub rail. We want that to be four inches beneath this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a spacer block and just use that to trace. So to get the right angle for our bow, we're going to line our piece up, take a block, really need another hand to do this, but 
We're going to take a block, lay it on there, and trace that. Okay. This tool is called an angle keeper. It allows you to copy and reproduce an angle. Okay, the seat back is on, but you can see there's a little lip here that sticks up above. Not too much, but enough. So we're taking that down with the hand plane. We're taking it down to just barely above the level of the deck. And then we're going to come back with the hand sander and sand that down flush. We don't want to take it down all the way because there are some screws that are still somewhat close to the surface and we don't want to take it, uh, nick up the blade. Okay, we got a little carried away from working and forgot to tape, but here's what we did. We just gave the woodwork a quick hand sand uh, and we laid this piece in along the side of the cockpit, stretching from the combing all the way back to the stern of the boat. What that piece is going to do is catch any water that splashes up onto the deck and reflect it right around and right off the back and keep it from running in down your back into the cockpit. So the next thing we have to do is fill our nail holes and then we're going to come back, we're going to put some stain and varnish, or uh, varathane, on our freight work, which would be this, this piece, and this piece for the time being, uh, and our rub rail down here.